It's with us, Jim Rogers. Rogers Holding, page 74. A gift to my children. You all know it. It's been out before. Know when not to do anything. You were talking before we went on air about Mr. Corzine. Did he know when not to do anything? Of course he didn't. I mean, the guy is going to wind up with his career. It looks like he's going to wind up his career in jail. We're all innocent until proven guilty in America. But well, thank you for saying that. Sometimes we don't hear that enough. I know, but my what God. Would be, what would be the lesson you have learned from, let's, for, in the sense of Taleb, call this a black swan debacle? It's not a black swan debacle. It's guys who did things that were, they were perhaps illegal, but certainly uh, immoral, and certainly playing with the rules, no matter what they mm -hmm. did. Tom, a billion two, disappeared, mm -hmm. disappeared. People had their money in segregated accounts. The first word you learn in commodities is segregated accounts are sacrosanct. They're sacred, yeah. Sacrosanct. And here, the, somebody took the money out of segregated accounts. I, I want to get to Asia, but with this, the soap opera in Europe, there's got to be opportunity there. Where is the investment opportunity in Europe right now? Well, I don't know. I own the euro. Maybe, uh, let's hope that's one of them. You're long euro. I'm long the euro. Because yeah, Europe's so. going to break up, and you're going to see a 140, 150 <laughs> euro? I don't know if Europe's going to break up, but they're going to announce things. I'm just things. trying to make news here to help. <laughs> they're going to announce things that are going to be good. They're not going to solve the problem, but they're going to announce things that are going to make us all feel better. Tom, they've mm -hmm. been doing it for two years. You know that. Mm -hmm. Every two or three months, something goes wrong. They have a meeting. They announce things. Everybody says you and, it's okay. You and Goldman Sachs are against consensus. Do you have a target on Euro? I, I watch Bloomberg to get the target. I don't know. How do you, I get my news from watching Bloomberg TV. That won't work here. It's shameless plug. <laughs> Don't even give that credit. No way. Let's talk Asia. China sustains copper. Here's a picture on commodities. You have been uh, up and down here. W where are you now on commodities when you look at just the, the entire sustained move which everybody believes in? Does that give you pause? I don't like anything that everybody believes in, even if I'm one of the people who believes in it. You know, a year and a half ago, I, I was very bearish on the dollar, but I bought dollars because everybody was bearish, including me. No, I don't like it when I'm on the same side of it, of the boat with everybody else. But the great shortage is developing commodities, and if the world economy gets better, mm -hmm. I'm going to make money in commodities. If the world economy doesn't get better, they're going to print money, and well, you need to own real assets. Where's your biggest investment belief right now? Agriculture and precious metals. Well, I don't have a belief, but agriculture. Today would be agriculture. Is there certain areas there? I mean, do you look at rice with your Asia focus, or is it more in wheat and ethanol uh, influenced corn? The things that are down, just start, start by looking at the things that are down. I buy the index. I buy the Rogers Agricultural Index. But mm -hmm. start with the things that are down. Sugar's down 60% from its all-time high. There's not much in the world that's down 60% from its all-time high. Start there. Start you, with things that are down. Uh, what do you observe when you see Brazil essentially flat GDP? It is more than a pause in you know, emerging markets. It's a shame markets, about Brazil. Brazil, every time there's a bull market in commodities, Brazil does well. Mm. Then the bear market comes and they start fiddling with the economy and making mistakes. This time around, the woman started making mistakes before the bull market ended. Mm. She's put on exchange controls. She's put on tariffs. Tariffs against the Chinese. Her biggest customer, the Chinese, she put tariffs on. So they're already starting to make mistakes. Mm. They were restricting the it's almost impossible for foreigners to buy land there now. They're fiddling with their economy when they shouldn't. What was your worst year? Did you have a worst year? Did you have a year that just... You, you'd Let me say tell you about my first wife. That well, probably, that okay. would, I think that's probably my, my worst year, yes. Wait, wait, the guy from Meredith was on yesterday with, can you save this marriage? Maybe you had an article in Ladies Home Journal. Um, you look at Mr. Paulson and the worst year he's having here, the head, uh, Jim Paulson, the hedge fund guy. He's having a really tough year. How do hedge funds get into a mess like that? Is it a one-way global macro bet? How do you get into a worst-year position? Well, I guess I don't know uh, what Mr. Pauls That's is fair. doing, so so I, I don't I really can't comment too much. But I do know that people make a, a move and then it starts going against them, and they think, well, it's going to be okay, and then eventually, unless they have tight stops. They wind up in serious trouble. Well, what I don't use tops, stops, by the way. You don't use stops. No, but I, what I, is frequently your I wish I did. <laughs> okay, I'll go with that. That's honest. What is your sell methodology? Well, I just can't take the pain anymore. You know, something will go against me, and I will say, okay, I will, I'll re-examine, re-examine, re-examine. Convinced I'm right. Re-examine, re -examine, pain gets worse. Mm -hmm. Finally, the pain's just so bad that I'm like everybody else. I just give up and say, stop. Go west, young man. Here is Jim Rogers on Asia. Boy, have we ignored Asia with all this European. There's the financial crisis of 97 and Asia DXY. This is Asia X Japan. 
dollar index, there's a persistency there. Do you just presume we'll take out those 1995, 1996 Asia currency strengths? Uh, yes, eventually. The U.S. dollar, I own the U.S. dollar, but the U.S. dollar is a terribly flawed currency, Tom. I mean, it's, it's going to disappear. I don't like saying it. I'm an American citizen, an American taxpayer, just like you. But, uh, my God, America is the largest debtor nation in the history of the world, mm -hmm. Tom, in the history of the world. We've got, and it's getting worse and worse and worse. Those guys in Washington do not understand what they're doing to themselves and to us. Can you buy U.S. equities here? Everybody else seems to find it to not be me. a safe haven. Oh, me. Oh, not me. I'm short U.S. equities. I'm short, uh, emerging, I'm short emerging markets. I'm also short Amer American technology stocks. Thanks for the update, Jim Rogers. Appreciate it very much.